Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about another class in C++11 standard library, tuple. I assume everybody knows about pairs. A pair is used to store a pair of values of different types. So here I create a pair of int and string and then call the function make pair to construct the pair. And later on when I want to use the pair, I use p.first and p.second. A tuple can be considered as an extended pair. Instead of just storing two values, it can be used to store arbitrary number of values with arbitrary data type. After including the header file of tuple, I can use tuple. tuple int string char t32 pennywise a. So here I create a tuple with a integer string and a char. And later on, if I want to use the tuple, I can call get zero t. And same thing, I can use it to access get one, get two. So this will print out. 32, pennywise, and a. And if I want to change the values stored in the tuple, I can also use the get function. get 1 t equal to pound foolish. Note that the get function returns a reference to the variable stored in the tuple. So if I do string reference s equal to get one t, and then I change s to patience is virtue. Then this also changes the tuple t. And if I want to access get three t. This will not compile because the index 3 is out of range. So in a sense, the get function is similar to the subscript operator of a vector. If I have a vector of int v3, I can change the vector's value 1 equal to 3. So the subscript operator also returns a reference to the variables in the vector, just like the get function. But what's different is the index for the get function must be a compile time constant. So if I have an integer variable i equal to 1, and I want to get i t, this will not compile i is not a constant. So let's comment out this one because this is out of range. And also comment out this one because this i must be compile time constant. In the first example, I have created a tuple and initialized it with these values. But I can also create a tuple without initializing it. And now, every member of the tuple is constructed with default constructor. And later on, I can create another tuple and assign it to t2. int string char 12 curiosity kills the cat. To make our life a little bit easier, the standard library also provides a convenient function, make tuple, so that we don't have to type every data type. Now we have a tuple of t and t2, and they contain the same data types. So we can even compare them. If t bigger than t2, 
This rule does lexicographical comparison. We print out T is larger than T2. And this will indeed print out T is larger than T2 because 32 is larger than 12. And we can even do assignment T equal to T2. This will perform member by member copy. Copy everything from T2 to T. Now let's talk about a very important feature about the tuple. A tuple can store references. This is kind of unusual because none of the STL container can store references. They always use copying or moving. So if I have a string st equal to in for a penny, then I create a tuple string reference. Note that this is a single member tuple that contains a reference to a string, t3, which is initialized with st. And then if I change get 0, t3 equal to in for a pound. Now st also contains in for a pound. So the string member of the tuple is a reference to the string st. If I want to use the make tuple function, I can do t3 equal to make tuple ref st. I need to create a reference wrapper for st and then pass it to the make tuple function. Now, the tuple t2 contains an integer string and a char. Now I have an integer x, a string y, and a char z, and I want to extract the value of t2 to x, y, z. What I can do is make tuple ref x, ref y, ref z equal to t2. As a result, x contains 12, y contains curiosity kills a cat, z contains d. And since this operation is very important, the standard library provides a dedicated function, tie, which does exactly the same thing. This is doing the same thing. But the advantage of using the tie function is if one of the values is not needed, we can ignore it. x and then ignore z. In this case, the string value curiosity kills a cat will be ignored. Tuple can be concatenated. If I create auto t4 equal to standard tuple cat t2 and t3, then t4 is a tuple of int, string, char, and string reference, because t3 is a tuple of string reference. Tuple also has some dedicated type traits. If I print out standard tuple size deco type t4 value, this will output 4. Because this is printing the tuple size of the type of t4. And if I do standard tuple 
element one decal type T4 type D, then D is a string. Because the element number one of the type of T4 is a string. That's all for today. Feel free to check out the other videos I have, and see you next time.